Ah, uh, finally clear on a new moon weekend in galaxy season. So in this video, we are going to image the Leo triplet. Let's get going. Hi there, my name's Dalen. Here at Astro Escape, we go over all things astrophotography, starting from the very beginner level and working our way up from there. If you're new here, if you like what you see as you're watching the video, consider giving this one a like. All right, let's go image the Leo triplet. So the reason I am starting at home before I head up to the observatory is tonight is our best chance for uh, any visual astronomers to do the Messier Marathon, which is observe all of 110 in one night. And it's actually clear on the night of the Messier Marathon. So there's been some emails going around in the astronomy club and a bunch of people are gonna be up there. So just in case they don't want me annoying them with the recordings, I'm doing most of the talking now. But a fun thing of living in this area is how cloudy it constantly is. But look at this chart, it is so good. All right, so what we are gonna be running on tonight is the William Optics Xenostar 61 in the Canon T7i. It's all gonna be on the Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro mount and all controlled with the ASI Air with the mini guide uh, camera. And I will be guiding, and I know that at this focal length, guiding isn't really necessary. However, I do want to dither the images, and I want to try drizzling just to see when I stack if I can pull out some more details. You're going to see a lot of that with the videos coming out this year with this little scope, because I'm going to be pushing it as far as I can. That's the theme for this year. See what I can get out of this tiny little scope. All right, a few other details is the observatory is in a Bortal 5 zone, and it will be unfiltered. And the reasoning for that is because I want to pull in as much signal from the galaxies as possible, just because it's the last point I made. I want to try to dither and drizzle and just try to pull out as much detail as I can. So every photon counts. And with all the uh, photons, hopefully I get enough that when I remove light pollution, the galaxies just look fantastic. Okay, so while I'm out there, I'm actually going to take my Dobsonian with me and try to find as many objects as I can with the Messier Marathon. Now, I haven't actually found all 110 of them, but I'll see how many new ones that I don't know how to find I'll be able to find. The reason for that is at 7.45, that's when astronomical twilight ends, and about 8.30, that is when the triplet is going to be optimum to start imaging. And it'll be visible all night, so I'm going to utilize that all night. But I need something to do, so I'm going to have the daub with me. And I, let me tell you what, I am extremely jealous of people who have a backyard where they can just set up, get it going, and come back in because I don't. I have to go to the observatory, but that's okay. You know what? No, enough chit-chat. Let's, let's get out there and, and start taking some pictures, huh? All right, we're done setting up. Uh, right now it's about 48 degrees. I'm supposed to get down to 30s. Um, just waiting on dark now. Uh, over time, it's gotten a lot easier to get this thing set up, but as it gets dark, uh, there's a few things I gotta work out with the ASI Air, and then uh, we'll see uh, how things go tonight. All right, take a look at that. Uh, it is after midnight already, and it has already passed the meridian, so uh, 
I'm in the car warming up after it finished the Meridian flip. Um, I did have to find out that uh, I had to reset the guiding calibration to make it all work out right. I did have some problems early on getting the calibration right, but uh, yeah, it, I started around 10 o'clock. Um, it did get down to about the mid 30s, which is fine. Um, but the frames right now are 180 seconds, so three minute frames at 1600 ISO and it's dithering every three frames. So the guiding data looks a little bit bad, but that's okay. Uh, it still dithers and settles and gets going again real quick right away. So everything's going all right. So uh, I'm just gonna let it run. There are still a few people here, so um, I won't uh, keep talking around them, but uh, what we'll do is uh, would let it shoot. I'm gonna bust out the Dobsonian and take a look at some of the Messier objects uh, coming up over the eastern horizon and before the some of them before they set and enjoy the image. I want to thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do like, comment, subscribe, and then hit that little notification bell so that what YouTube does tell you when I upload the next video. I want to thank you for watching. Clear skies and enjoy this image.